The government of Baghdad has expressed its strong disapproval of the United States' recent air raids, which resulted in the deaths of eight Iran-backed fighters. The government spokesperson, Bassem al-Awadi, stated that the U.S. did not coordinate these attacks with Iraq, and therefore, it violated Iraqi sovereignty. He emphasized that such actions are unacceptable. The pro-Iran militia, Kataib Hezbollah, also known as Hezbollah Brigades, confirmed that eight of its fighters were killed in the U.S. strikes. In a statement, the militia warned that these attacks will not go unpunished. The U.S. Central Command justified the strikes as retaliation for previous attacks against U.S. and coalition forces by Iran and Iran-backed groups. These strikes mark the first time the U.S. has announced military action against Iran-backed forces in Iraq since these groups launched a series of attacks in response to U.S. support for Israel in the ongoing Gaza war. It is worth noting that the U.S. has previously targeted Iran-backed groups in neighboring Syria, where its positions have also come under fire. Since the start of the Gaza war on October 7, U.S. forces deployed in Iraq and Syria have faced 66 attacks, resulting in over 60 personnel injuries, according to the Pentagon. The most recent attack occurred on Monday when Iran-backed militias fired a close-range ballistic missile at the Al-Assad airbase, injuring eight individuals. This prompted the U.S. retaliation. The Iraqi government spokesperson, Al-Awadi, has condemned the Iran-backed groups that Washington holds responsible for these repeated attacks on U.S. forces. He stated that their actions are unlawful and jeopardize the national interest. The Ain al-Assad airbase in Anbar province, located west of Baghdad, is home to the U.S.-led coalition forces fighting against ISIS in Iraq. Currently, there are approximately 2,500 U.S. soldiers in Iraq and around 900 in Syria, as part of efforts to prevent the resurgence of ISIS.